Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another beautiful day. We're going to do some trash picket here. I'm going to leave here probably in about five minutes. Um, it, it's right. So last night, actually, this is kind of a personal thing, but last night I went on to start up my mower, my lawn mower, like my riding mower, and uh, I probably cut grass for maybe 10 seconds, and then it just shut off on me. The whole mower shut off on me, so I, I turned it off. I started back up and turned on the mower deck again and it just shut off on me. So I worked with my neighbor. We kind of ripped apart my lawnmower for about two hours and we kind of diagnosed and agreed that the problem was probably in the gearbox. Um, but that kind of gets me to my next point is like a lot of people watch the channel and want to learn more about how to make money and how to buy and sell stuff. If you guys are handy, so I have a John Deere 455. That's what I have. Uh, if you guys are handy, I'd highly suggest like looking into buying and flipping uh, lawnmowers. And the reason why is because these wheels, these tires use $375. Then we get down here, uh, stuff like this. We have the in injection pump, $325. The wheels again, $300. Here we get into the gearboxes. So you'll see this is pre-owned, the same one. Uh, it's used. They cleaned it up, which is really nice. $340. The next one, $300. The mower deck, uh, I don't know if you'd really call these the spindles, they say the mandrels, um, $315 pre-owned. So you have all these different parts, and these are mostly they're just off the mower deck. That's an attachment, but this is the footrest. It's just bananas what these prices are. Wheel weights. So what I'm getting at is there's just tons of parts. This is the hood on it. Pre-owned, $250. Bucks. What I'm getting at is if you guys like to take apart things, look into like taking apart lawnmowers, pick them up at scrapyards, find them at auctions. Even if they don't run, you can literally just take the parts off of it. It might take you a day to kind of, you know, category everything, categorize everything, but you can make $2,000 off a lawnmower that might be worth $20 in scrap if you just want to take it apart, especially the gearboxes because I just spent $250 bucks on a used one. It is bananas. So... Uh, that's kind of my fiasco. I, I won't bore you too much with that, but if you're looking for new avenues, definitely look into possibly picking up lawnmowers and taking them apart because something like this, you got to go out and buy a part brand new. This thing's like $550, $600 from John Deere. You can buy used for $250. If you find these at the scrapyard for $20 in terms of the lawnmower, you can really make a killing. Uh, but that's going to kind of be enough with that. Let's get out there and do some treasure hunting and see what we get into. Let's do it. Alright, what do we have there? Looks like a school desk. Alright, small school desk there, probably I would say around the 90s, uh, 90s era. It's not, it's not too old. Trash over there. What's that thing? Oh no, that's their that plastic umbrella Ooh, a bunch of trash over here uh, ooh. looks like a, a box of assorted yard sale stuff throw on four ways make sure I don't hit anyone or get hit by anyone good old natty light over there some Reebok sneakers, I can donate them. Looks all moldy. All moldy CDs and stuff. These ain't too bad. Maybe uh, EJ will want them. Donate to the EJ Fun. He's the one who does all the sneakers. Says he does really well. So like those sneakers, Nikes, uh, Adidas, sneaker sneakers, Jordans. Right. Who's what? Whose chickens could those possibly be? This is there's no farm around here. Somebody lost their chickens. <laughs> there's no farms around here. We're in a city right now. Unless you have chickens that live in your I don't know. Your front yard. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, don't hit the pothole. I already need a wheel alignment anyway. 
All right, here up on the up here on the right was uh, where that lady pulled out. I think she had like a Ford Escape or something, and she she grabbed it before I did. There were a bunch of planters now, right here where this wooden post is. Ooh, it's got some sort of. Oh, I see something else. Ooh. We are going to be parking over there. Let's try to parallel this guy. No. It's a pine tree, that's press board. It's broken, I'm gonna grab that crock pot. Print. What's this? What's this? Grab this. What else did I see over there? I thought I saw something else. I thought I saw something else I liked. Oh, that toaster down there. I stopped because I saw the back of this and I was like, ooh, what could that be? But it's nothing great. There was, oh, it's plastic. So it was a cookie jar, I thought. Oh, all right, I'll take this guy. It's a toaster or something. Our foreman grill. That's a chair. All right. Yeah, I thought that one piece was possibly furniture, but it's a print. All right. This might be uh, this might be perfect for a uh, flea market. So last time I did uh, my clothing sale, the big problem was kind of just like taking a oh. This might not be broken. No, I don't think so. The problem with it was that I had to kind of use my own, so I'd take off all my Etsy clothes that I had on, lay it down on the floor. Of course, all the hangers don't lay the right way, so uh, kind of just made me not want to do it because it was just kind of a burden. Plus, I had to go like, you know, take this thing apart to fit down the stairs because it's an awkward staircase. So it was just kind of a burden to use my own, but now that I'll probably just keep in the warehouse because surprisingly, clothing like t-shirts sweatshirts jackets sell very very well at the flea market as long as you throw it on a rack like that rather than just throwing them on you know the ground so that'll be probably my flea market rack all right last last stop here get yourself some microwave Last stop before the auction. All right, see you guys then. All right, well, we made it here, and I feel like I'm getting parked in here because this guy decides to park right on the line. Well, tough luck. Looking like it's going to be a short day. It's just Dollar General, I think, yep. Yeah. Dillard General, so it's looking like a lot of just decoratives. Ooh, we got some old photographs, maybe. There you go. Just one, of course. Probably put the best one on top. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of these are probably 90s, 80s, 90s stuff. And then you got one good box on top. Lots well, like porcelain cups and mugs and stuff like that. A lot of decoratives. Cups, more cups, glasses. Looking a lot, looking a lot like the similar stuff, like this, the same old, same old. What's this federal? Always cool to see the federal stuff because it's like I never ever really come across the same federal pattern. Because I think a lot of it was regional.
All right, so this is a newer one. As you guys might be able to see, there's a registered trademark on it. That's a newer mason jar. It's the way you tell if they're older or newer. This is, I think, they had the registered trademark after 76 or somewhere around their 60s maybe. So if you ever have the registered trademark, it's not an old one. If you're a new collector or somebody's looking to get into this, it's kind of a telltale sign. Now if you're ever like, oh, is this an old one? It's blue. You don't know. Ornaments. All right, so grab this. It's a foot box, I think, and I grab that. This is a military foot box. Still got the numbers on it, and I think a last name. Kind of hard to read. It's upside down right now. I'll show you guys that Mickey Mouse thing, which is kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's grab this guy. So I only paid three bucks for the box, which is really good. The last box I had, the military box, remember that? I found it in the, the trash. It was like a naval box. Didn't sell it. I think I brought three weeks. Or maybe I did sell it. I sold for like five or ten dollars. I was really surprised. Got this as well. Uh, nice older Mickey Mouse. 1974. The costume thing for uh, kids. This was two dollars at Lionel. Don't think it's Lionel brand like the train. I think it's just... That was a store. Look at the graphics on that. That's awesome. That's stuff that I kind of like. It's like the vintage graphics. 70s, they got really cool colors and color schemes. So I paid a little bit more for that, but paid $3 for the box. Really, really happy with that. All right. Well, guess what, everyone? I feel a little bit of nostalgia here. Uh, going back to the Salvation Army, I was talking about this in the last time I came here. Um, the only thing I bought at that auction were the Mickey Mouse thing and a wood box. Anytime taxi driving by. Uh, but I did drop off my van again to get serviced on the brakes. That should be done either tonight or tomorrow. So hopefully that issue is gone. I think, I think they put the wrong brake pads on. They put uh, too heavy of a gauge brake pads and they're sticking. So that or caliber work, but it's, it's under warranty, so that's all good. See what you find at this establishment today. stuff in the corner. Missing things? Yeah, okay. It's a problem with this North Face sweatshirt. What's that? It's a problem with the North Face sweatshirt. How much is it? Three bucks? It's not bad, it's real clean, but I don't think the accountability was. I don't think they're great. Oh, they got the stains on the belly as always. Yeah, this is like a small. It has that champion reverse it's, wheel. It's, that, uh, it's like a pro weave. That's a different brand. I've never even heard of that brand. Leaf? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a leaf. Is it a leaf? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even flip it over. Yeah. I saw that top piece. I was like, oh, cotton. I don't know. The is brand. it clean? Back looks good. The, sleeve, the, the cuffs are tight, which are good because sometimes they get stretched out. I could explain. Check the front. It's good. 
Okay, so that was lots of fun. I just left the thrift store. Picked up a couple of things. Picked up that North Face sweatshirt for myself and picked up uh, that vintage pit sweatshirt. Both that just came off the rack. Came here to pick up some socks. No sandals, but it's going to kind of wrap it up here for today's video. Been all over the place, but lots of fun regardless. These are, what, $8? Those are pretty good. These kinds of look I like the look of that. Sometimes with these low socks, they get underneath your, your heel of your foot, which I don't like. But I do like the look of the low sock a little bit more. Got some hats over here. What are we looking at? Socks? That's my size. $11. Chargers. Nope. More white socks. It's a weird material. Well, that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button. I'll catch you guys, uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. See what happens and uh, catch you guys next time. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.